Merrick's trapped in the Sea of the Dam to the Dark Weather and have now returned. It's time to go on a rescue mission. Even now, my pirate legends seek the stones. An ancient power, great and terrible. There's something I need you to do. Merrick. Will you help me? You trusting fool. Your adventures end here. Mary! You alright, mate? You know I've seen a ghost. <laughs> Ferry's this way, mate. In case you didn't know. If you don't want to miss it, them wraiths don't mess about. Uh, make sure you hold that ferry for me, friend. We've got one more passenger here. <sighs> or you could just sit there and spend some more time here. Not me, though. I'm headed back to the land of the living. Well, well. It would seem that our friend has delivered just as we planned. Not so fast, old boy. You're not going anywhere. It wasn't personal, Merrick, but you have information that we need. And you're going to tell us everything. Okay, so before we even begin analyzing this thing, what a trailer that was. It looks like we'll be going back to the Sea of the Damned and rescuing Merrick, a place that everyone has wanted for so long. Probably the best trailer that we've had yet, and also it's probably going to be the best adventure that we've had yet. So kicking things off with the trailer analysis, the start of it is actually the most cryptic, with Merrick hearing presumably voices in his head. Even now, my pirate legend seek the stones. An ancient power, great and terrible. There's something I need you to do. Merrick. Will you help me? You trusting fool. Your adventures end here. Mary! Now perhaps this is going to tell the story of how he actually died. It starts off with the Pirate Lord talking about the Veil Stones, which, yeah, that's fine. Then himself about a power so great and terrible from the first trailer. Then Bell asking him to do a favour. So either this is building up to how he died or it's just memories because I don't see how Bell could be bad but after Bell asked him to do a favor we hear a voice that I actually don't recognize I think it's Rook somehow that we defeated in the Wild Rose Tall Tale sounds like exactly the same voice however it could be Wanda just a bit warped but it really doesn't sound like that and then finally and then finally an unknown voice again so if we're wrong with the idea that these voices recapped what happened the last three are definitely the most interesting Bell sent him to do something, somehow she's turned bad, let's just roll with that. And when he gets there, Rook, or the voice that we thought is Rook, captured one of his friends or family and then forced him to kill himself or subject to death in order to save his family member from being cursed or something. That's one theory, the other is that these are just memories, but it's definitely going to have something to tie in with his death. So then, he wakes up on the Sea of the Damned Shores. Not the island that we've seen, not the one in the pirate's life, although it does have remarkably similar shrubbery and shipwrecks, but there is a dock there. We see the tall tail pirate, one of the pirates that used in all the cinematic trailers, and the Fairy of the Damned is there, retrieving lost souls and taking them back to the Sea of Thieves, just like we see in the pirate's life tall tale. 
Not too much happens here, as you heard we get some friendly banter and comments from the guy who was talking to Merrick, that Merrick is mostly just dazed and confused there, but we're hoping to get a lift aboard that ferry. But then we get the big reveal of the trailer. Merrick has somehow been sent there and the Dark Brethren are here to capture him, as we see Wanda emerge from the shadows. The question is, how have they got to the Sea of the Damned without being dead? We can visibly see they're not a ghost, and I know the Dark Brethren do dabble in magic and all that, but Tia Dharma Calypso had to open up a portal for us in the Pirates Live Tall Tales for us to get through. Something that's quite nice is we do also see Wanda's face, which is a skeleton that we got a glimpse of in the Dark Brethren, and then Duke appears. We get the reasoning behind why Merrick is sent there and why they want to capture him. He knows something. Now the Pirate Lord talks at the start about the Veil Stones, so perhaps he knows something about that, or Bell's trusted him with a piece of information. Merrick spent a lot of time in Bell's care, and as he said in his journals, Bell told him a lot of stories, and so is it possible that he knows something that they want to know and so they captured him, or something like that? Very interesting stuff. Who knows where Merrick is going to end up, but they're going to take him with him, and they're going to take him somewhere hostage, presumably in the Sea of the Damned. Wanda also talks about that her friend has delivered, so they definitely made some kind of deal. The big question here is, what really are the Dark Brethren's motives? They're the cruel and corrupted souls of the Sea of Thieves that all have suffered loss, that was who they were originally made of, and they're under lead by the mysterious captain, who we are yet to meet, who was going to set sail to the Sea of Thieves once Davy Jones conquered it, but alas, that never really did happen. So do they still seek to control it? We know that Wanda from the recent world changes absolutely hates Flameheart because we know from the Dark Brethren Tall Tales she confessed her love to him and then he rejected her. So she hates Flameheart and Flameheart's a big threat. So could we in the future perhaps even see us teaming up with the Dark Brethren? For now it seems no because they've captured Merrick. That's, you know, obviously really bad. But we do share similar motives. We both don't want Flameheart from ruling the Sea of Thieves. I'm really excited for this adventure because hopefully we should be being go back to the Sea of the Damned to rescue Meg. That seems what this adventure is going to be about. The Sea of the Damned, as I said at the start, is a place which we haven't seen for a while since the Pirates Live Tales, and there was some really cool aesthetics in there. In the description of the trailer on YouTube, it says something has befallen Merrick. Following his triumph at Golden Sands, the veteran sailor has mysteriously disappeared. Answer the call to hunt the hunter in our next time limited adventure, The Forsaken Hunter, live from June 30th to July 14th. So it certainly does seem we're going to be going to rescue him from the Sea of the Damned. The final thing I do want to mention is that one thing I'm really excited about is that I think any locations within this next adventure will be used again. There are no locations in the adventures which have been brand new POIs. So within this adventure, I don't think they'd create brand new Sea of the Damned effects and places and things, at least not big ones, if they weren't going to use them again. So perhaps in the Captain Sea update coming very soon, in about three weeks, we could be seeing Voyages to the Sea of the Damned. But that's a whole other topic completely. Because if you think about it, all of the adventures that have been, they've not had any brand new locations. The first one, Shrouded Islands, changed some islands, added some fork, added a couple bits and pieces. Not much there. The second adventure, Forts of the Forgotten, took place in the Sea Forts, which obviously had a massive other function. The third adventure, Shrouded Deep, didn't have any new brand new locations. It had the Killer Whale, but that's not really too hard to do. That's not a lot of resources. In the most recent one, the Lost Sands, also didn't have any new locations, just a couple environment changes. But to create a completely new POI for a time-limited piece of content, which only lasts two weeks, I wouldn't see the point in that. So I strongly believe that if this is a big new location, we're going to be seeing it again. But that does just help wrap up this video. I am incredibly excited for this new adventure. It is going to be absolutely amazing, probably the best one yet. The Dark Rhythm are back and Merrick is under attack, and there's some more pieces of information we don't know yet. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like. It helps out a ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And why not hit the bell as well? And do let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. And if you want to really give the extra mile and support the channel, you can become a channel member for just a small fee a month. It really helps me out a ton. And you earn loads of cool perks and rewards. Anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.